All right, guys, so we're back now. We just finished doing the motors, and now we're going to go to the VTX. So go ahead and open this JHMCU box. Uh, you can put the box in the garbage. And what we're going to do is let's go ahead and open the contents here. And in the contents you have here, you have your antenna, which is an MMCX connection. You have your VTX, and you have your cables. Okay? So here's the deal. Um, they give you a ton of wire here for this. You can cut it if you want. You can solder directly to the back of this and not use any kind of plug if you don't want. Whatever you want to do, um, it's it's kind of really your call on this. Uh, I'm not really sure how I want to do this just yet um, because this is going to fit my preference. I, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to put this, I put it like this, which is most likely how it's going to go. The plug here is super long. I mean, this is a ton of wire for this. So I would suggest, if you don't mind cutting it, I would suggest to plan on cutting this, okay? But here's the deal. The VTX wire goes way back here. Your, um, your VTX wires go down here. You will not be using uh, these two wires, okay? Because these two wires are gonna be for if you're going to give power, and if you look right here, if you're gonna give five volt and ground to your camera, then you will use these two. But we're gonna get our camera from up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a sharp, uh, like a, like a, the edge of a razor blade, okay, Something like this, and we're basically going to pull up on the last two tabs, and we're going to pull the wire out, just like that. Make a clean one, okay? Now, I'm going to show you this under the microscope, just in case you have any questions about it. So let me do this, all right? So now you see it here. So what you do is you've got the you've got the clip right here. You basically just bring your razor blade right here and right here and pry it up. And once you do that, and don't go any other other, don't do any more. Just those two. You can just easily pull those wires out and then just press the tabs back down with your finger and you're good to go. It's very easy to do, uh, and you can save the wires if you want. I used to save them. I'm throwing them out now because I thought I would come back and use them one day, and you don't. I don't. Um, as far as the distance of this wire go, as far as how far this is going to go, these three are going to run all the way back to here, okay? And the blue one is going to run to your TX3 over here because that's your smart audio. So blue goes to smart audio, which is a very close run. The other three are going to go back to here, all right? So if you want to, um, if you want to uh, cut the wire, here's what I would suggest you do. You take this, all right? Now, I'm going to go over because I'm going to keep everything as, as far away from the flight controller as I can. All right. So I'm going to go over and I'm just going to spin these up just like that. Okay. Now, I'm just going to see if I was to do this. Now, obviously, it's not going to lay flat like that. But if I was to do that, I would probably cut this about, I think that's probably fair. So let's use the 45 millimeter as the guide on that. So we're gonna cut this 45 millimeters in length, okay? So I'm gonna take this down to here, put it all the way to that plug, and I'm just gonna cut right here. All right, and there's that. We can throw that out. Oh, you know what? Actually, tell you what, save that. Sorry, save that. That makes good receiver wire, actually, because that's all we need for the receiver. So save that excess wire. Now for this blue one, well, that's pretty simple. That's only going to be like hmm, maybe 10 mil. So just kind of take like a finger's width, all right, and just cut it because that's a very close, close thing right there. So we don't need much there. So we're going to cut that just like that, all right? Now let's strip them, and we can actually unplug it. We don't need these plugged in while we're doing this. So let's strip those. And we're gonna solder the back wires first before we solder the blue TX wire. And the reason being is, if these come unwound because we're trying to get them soldered on, I wanna be able to twist this cable back up, but if I solder the blue wire, then it's gonna stop me from being able to wind the black, red, and yellow up. All right, and we're gonna do a very small uh, tinning here because it's a very small pad over there. So let's go ahead and get those wires ready. Okay, and just put your flux on there. And just try to twist them up if you can. If there's any any room at all to twist these just a little bit, that'll be good. All right. All right, now I'm going to tin these up. 
So here we go. One. Two. And then I need the yellow one. It keeps falling over, so I'll do it like this. Three. Okay. And on top of it, I'm going to go ahead and prepare to tin this one up. I don't know if I put flux on it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, just in case. And I'm going to wind this one up and tin it real quick, the blue one. All right, there we go. And I will show you guys right here. This is what our wires now look like. Let me see if I can get that on the screen to not make it so blurry. Okay, there's the red one right there, and then there's our blue one uh, right there. Okay, so that should be a good guide for you. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and get ready to solder this. So, uh, we're going to take the red wire and solder it to the positive, obviously. Let me get my tweezers. Put my razor blade away. I don't need it anymore right now. All right. Take the tweezers and put this on the red over here. I'm going to take the yellow and put it into the VTX in the center. And I'm going to take the black and put it to the ground next to the XT30 ground. Okay, and that will look like this. Just like that. Okay, excellent. Now, I'm going to also take the blue wire now and I'm going to solder that one to the TX3 and I'll show you a picture of that when it's done here. So give me one second. Okay, this is what that looks like. Just like that. And that's it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we can now take, I'm going to clean off this mess a little bit, we can now take three standoffs, or th sorry, three of these clear O-rings, these rubber O-rings, and we're going to put them on top of the flight controller here. Okay, there's two, and then we're going to take the rest of them, mine kind of rolled all over the place. All right, and just to get an idea of how this is gonna fit, you can then just put that right there, just like that, and you are set. You see, this will plug in perfectly. You have yourself a nice little low profile setup right there, okay? And that is how you do your VTX. So, what we are not gonna do, though, is we're not gonna, uh, we're not gonna uh, do much more with this VTX. Uh, the only thing we're gonna do to finish this portion off is, I want you to go back to your, where did I put mine? The, here it is. I want you to go back now and open up your Zeus uh, package, and I want you to take out this clear bag. I said we're going to need this later, and this is this later. So what I want you to do here is I want you to empty the contents, and I want you to take these little these little fasteners, put them on the top right here, and get them started by twisting your finger around. Uh, where did I go? There we go. But then I'll show you what I want you to do. So do it like that. Get it started, okay? And then all I want you to do is I want you to spin it from here, okay? Because you need to plan to get it around. You don't want to put a, 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 any kind of tool near, near the top of this uh, VTX because there are components there that you could uh, damage. So just spin the screw from the bottom and don't crank down on it. Just once you feel any resistance, you're done, okay? That should be it. Let's go to the next one. We'll go cross corner though. All right, so let's see this. All right. Yep, that's looking very straight, very good. 
looking at this now, I may, depending, I don't know yet. I'm going to see what I want to do here because I may opt for the other kits to have 15 or 18 mil screws instead of 20. I don't know yet. I have to see because there's a little bit, there's quite a bit left here, but I also may use the space. Uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. It does give you an option to add another layer if you want. Um, another component of some sort. All right. I have one more left, which is going to be right here. And then we would have, and I keep hitting those, we would have completed the VTX and this build is looking very clean. I mean, there's hands down, this is going to be very clean, very, very thin uh, build. All right. So there we go. So look at that. So by the time you're done, you've got space between the flight controller and ESC, uh, or sorry, between the flight controller and the VTX. You've got space between the flight controller and the bottom of the frame. Um, everything is mounted properly and looks good. Uh, I'm going to just cut this little bump I have in solder here from when I lifted my solder iron off. Um, and that's it. This looks great. So what we're going to do next is we're going to come back here and we are going to get ready to solder the uh, camera wires. And then we'll come back and do the receiver. So I'll see you guys in just a minute.